you doing? Well, good, considering the circumstances, I understand. Yeah, so you're feeling a bit under the weather. Sorry to hear that. Just need to confirm a couple of things with you just before we get started. Um, may I just confirm your full name? to birth. Okay. And your address. All right. That's fantastic. You'll have to excuse me. I am going to be making notes as we go along and I should formally introduce myself. I am Dr. Lila. Yes, I'm a junior doctor here. So I've been studying for four years now, so we're almost there. Mm. Yes, so I do most of my rotation at a hospital, and then I do a couple of days at a GP practice as well. Mm. Yeah, maybe you'll uh, see me around here in the future. <laughs> you hope so, okay. Right, you've still got that cheeky attitude, so that's good to see. Um, just to discuss what it is actually that's going on with you. What are the symptoms that you're experiencing? Okay. Okay. Right. And is that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, when you say loss of breath, is that after doing a particular activity or is it just Okay, so it could even be just when you're sat. Okay. Um, have you had any um, chest infections, bronchitis, anything like that in the, the recent past? No. You've been experiencing any discharge from your, no your nose, your eyes, even your ears? Do you have a cough at all? A little bit, okay. And I know most of the world is over it now, but have you taken a COVID test? You have. And that was negative, okay. Um, can you hear any wheezing coming from your chest at all? Mm. Okay. Right. See, it does feel a bit raw. Yeah, okay. How long have you been uh, living with this now? Alright. Yeah, I can see you're a bit fed up. And this is the first time you've um, seeked advice from a doctor. Okay. Okay, any, um, right. So no discharge from the eyes, but you do have very sensitive eyes, okay. Yeah, do you, um, or are you known to suffer with migraines? Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so you've got quite a bit. Yeah, of exhaustion. weakness at all? Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're going through the walls a bit, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. 
So the ears feel a bit blocked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, any sore throat at all? No? That's a positive. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and no change in um, your sense of taste. said sort of in the last six months. No. No, I was just curious as to whether you may have had um, like a fall, bumped your head, anything like that. Any information we do get can obviously go towards a diagnosis for you, so. examination on you. I am just going to put some gloves on so we keep everything sanitary. Alright. And the thing is too uncomfortable at all, you obviously must let me know. And we can stop the exam. Same as well if you feel um, suddenly unwell, um, lightheaded, just let me know and we can, yeah, we can ease up for you. It's not going to be intense, but some people can find this sort of situation quite frightening. Alright, so the first thing we will do is have a little listen to your chest. Um, I will start by just having a little listen to your heart rate. Um, then we will take some you know, nice deep breaths. I'm just going to listen to see if there's any rattles or wheezing within your chest. We'll also go around the back just to listen to your lungs a little further as well, all right? Fantastic, okay. So, as I said, we are going to start with your chest. So I'm just going to place this paddle here. I'm just going to... Okay, just making sure everything's all okay here. Right, so Just either need you to just pull your shirt down or lift it up just so I can place. Yeah, I just need to place it around your ribs. Alright. So just continue breathing normally for me, okay? really deep breath. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do hear a, a little bit of like a rattle in your chest. I 
nice deep breath. Okay, mm. I definitely hear um, a bit of a rattle. I'm just going to have a little listen around the back. Do you mind if I pull your shirt up? That's okay. Good, all right. Move it to the other side again. Take a nice deep breath. Okay. I just need you to um, just cough for me as well. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um, well, your chest is sounding a bit. A bit sore, I will say that. Is it feeling sore to, to the touch? Yeah, we'll have a little look at that in a, in a little bit. Um, right, let me just note that down before I forget. We will now just take your temperature as well. So we use a ordinary thermometer, but we do put a little sleeve over the top. under your tongue. I would side it on being a little high, but nothing um, that shows a sign of um, like a serious infection, sepsis, or anything along the lines of that. Um, I need to be touch. If you just excuse me, I'm just going to just feel your forehead. Here. Alright, I'm just going to feel the side of your neck as well. Mm. Just feeling around your glands. It does feel a little bit warm. Okay. with me having a little look in your eyes. Yeah? Alright. Well, if you just want to look straight ahead at me, so if you look at my nose, um, just try not to focus on the light, because if you're seeing your eyes are getting a little bit sore, um, and, the, and you're getting the headaches, then we don't want you to be looking directly into the light. So, you look at my nose. Alright. I'm just going to test the... Um, reaction of your pupil. Yeah, it's quite bright, so I just don't. Yep, you're still looking at my nose. Right. So I'm going 
on this side as well. Doing okay? Good. Hmm. Do you mind if I... Yep, just stay looking at my nose. It is a little slow, um, right. Let me just have okay. Do you have a headache at the moment? You do? That may be why then. Look at my nose again for me. Are you keeping hydrated? Yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're getting a lot of fluids in. Mm. Actually, I'll keep this because I will have a little look in your mouth and then your ears as well. So if you just want to open your mouth nice and wide for me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you stick your tongue out too. Alright. Well, you do have a bit of discoloration to your tongue. So, um. It's one of those things you're, you have certain symptoms that are leading you to show infection and certain signs that are not so. But everybody is different in terms of what they display. Hmm, I'm just going to hook a finger here. And the other side. Gonna hook a finger here. Okay, I'll just leave you to relax for one moment. I am just gonna manhandle your head here, please excuse me. I'm just having a look in this ear. Okay. Um, yeah, I see a bit of congestion in your ears. Yeah, right ear is... Yes, your right ear is a little worse than the left. Does it hurt at all when I moved your head like that? Mm. Okay. Right, I'm going to do your blood pressure. Start the reading. Ready?
going to put this on your wrist. is a little high. a feel of the glands in your face and your neck just feeling for swelling I am then going to feel along your chest just for the glands um, or the lymph that runs um, along your chest into your armpits okay so we will start with your face I'm just Yeah, so it, it sort of runs under the eyes here. Um, I don't mean to disrespect you in any way. Um, this isn't like a negative um, comment about you. I can see the swelling um, on your cheeks. Yes. But good for you, it's not bad. drain any of that fluid just massage it slightly for you okay now I'm gonna have a feel of your neck swelling and um, the glands in your neck as well. Okay, I'm just going to have a feel across your chest here again. had any pain in your abdomen? You have? Alright, do you want me to take a little look at your tummy? Okay, well if you just want to swing your legs around and then we'll put them, yeah, then we can lay you back. Yep, so just swing yourself around. stomach to begin with. I'm just going to throw your top a little bit higher there. So your top's 
come down again. Um, I'm just going to do some percussions. I'm just going to start um, on your sternum um, and I'm just going to make my way down. Because like you're saying, you're having the, the chest pain anyway, so you just tell me if this is uncomfortable, all right? want to sit back up and swing back around. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Let me just make uh, some notes there again. you to do first is just put your hands out straight for me. I'm going to press down on them, alright? Good. Now bring your hands out to this position. I'm just going to do one arm at a time and I'm just going to pull. Yep, you just resist. Good. And this arm. Um, if you, again, put your arms out, but your palms flat like this, we'll place our palms on one another and I'm going to push and you're going to push back. Good. Um, I'm going to press down on your shoulders and you're going to lift them up. Good. Now with your legs, I am just going to um, take your calf or the lower leg and pull and you're gonna stop me from pulling, okay? And the other leg. Okay. Right, well we're all done for today's um, examination on you. I think what I'm going to do is uh, prescribe you with some antibiotics. I'm going to need you to run the course of antibiotics and then um, see how you feel after. And if you're continuing to feel um, unwell, we'll obviously have to do another course of treatment um, with something else. But yeah. Yeah, so um, I probably would recommend that you stay off work for the moment. Uh, maybe not the full course of the treatment, uh, but at least a week. After that week, see how you feel. If you feel that the medicine is working, feeling better in yourself, then of course it's up to you as to whether you decide that you would like to go back. We will um, be willing and able to provide you with a sick note if you choose to stay off the full two weeks, so you don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Okay. Well... We'll give you this. That is your prescription. 
they also have a digital copy so you don't need to have that but some people like to have it yes yeah, so if you take that to the pharmacy they'll be able to uh, provide you with what you need all right no you're very welcome it was nice to meet you and i i do hope you start to feel better and fingers crossed we won't see you again all right take